Well, when it comes to sports, there's one place that you want to make sure you get it all, and that is on Fox's 910 AM. And join me is one half of Rock Minuch. Dan Minuch, how are you, sir? Oh, man, Brett, I am doing so good. Great to see you, big fella. It's been about, what, uh, 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. I lose track after a couple of years. But, you know, uh, it, it was when... Always, we both, great to see you, man. <laughs> it was when we both were playing for the Bills. That's when, you know, <laughs> I, uh, on, on Nintendo, when we were playing, when we were playing on Nintendo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, and, and, and I think, Brad, I used to let you win, so you at least come back and play at least two more games. Yeah. Best two out of three, right? <laughs> yeah, it was. So, you know, I do want to, let's go back before we go forward, but how do you feel about your Bills winning this past weekend? Oh, I love it. It's good to see the Bills Mafia going strong. Matter of fact, I think the stadium there at SoFi in L.A. might have been 40, 50 percent or if not 60 percent Bills fans as they trekked over there to SoFi. So uh, great to see the Bills pretty much the odds on favorite to win the AFC, if not the Super Bowl. And I would love to see my brother in Buffalo Bills here at State Farm in the Super Bowl this year. That, that'll be totally awesome. Okay. Let's talk uh, update on what's going on out there in the sports world. Uh, this past uh, Tuesday, uh, some breaking news came down regarding the Suns owner. What, what's going on there? What's happening? Well, they've had a, a months-long investigation to Robert Sarver and a lot of the misgivings, if you would, as far as the workplace is concerned. Uh, Robert Sarver, as of Tuesday, a $10 million fine, uh, one-year suspension from anything running with the Suns, or the Mercury, and a lot of it was sexual harassment, bullying, uh, verbal abuse. I mean, you can go on and on and on. I would encourage your viewers, uh, Brad, to go ahead and go to NBA.com uh, to take a look at the statement from the NBA. And there are a lot of former employees who are part of this to say it's not enough that wow. the one year and the and the fine wasn't enough. But uh, after a month's investigation, you're going to be surprised at all of the allegations that came to fruition in order for this suspension and this fine. Wow, that's so crazy. You know, I'm watching uh, Legacy on Hulu about the Lakers and just the whole working of an NBA team. So this kind of like plays into the part of, you know, where the NBA has made a big change on what they're going to accept and not accept out there. Am I right? Yeah, that's correct. And I think that this is one of those things because, Brad, there hasn't been any kind of precedent per se. Now, you think of Donald Sterling with the L.A. Clippers – you know, many years ago, they forced him to sell the team. So I guess the, the egregious acts by Robert Sarver weren't enough uh, to force him to sell the team. But, yeah, you're right. Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, is going to come down hard. If there's any more use of the N-word on a regular basis, uh, bullying, sexual harassment, or any of those kind of things, the NBA, Adam Silver said enough is enough. Wow, uh, man, that's so uh, cra crazy. I know you guys will be talking about it uh, throughout the week and the weekend. They're over at 9, 10 a.m. Um, let's switch to football because that's what we're talking about. Our Cardinals um, really didn't get off to a, um, what can we say, a good start. <laughs> uh, was that that thud coming out of State Farm Insurance? That was the Cardinals. Totally unprepared. Don't play a lot of guys in the preseason. Uh, I would say it's one of those games you got to flush it, but this team is in dire straits. You look at a lot of the guys that didn't play. They didn't make a lot of improvements. Kyler Murray, not a bad game, but this team was totally unprepared. And i got to tell you what, Patrick McHolmes and, and then Andy Reid's head coach, they ran circles around this defense. And then their defense, KC's defense, was profound as far as stopping the run. And also stopping the Cardinals on third down, only three for 12. Yeah. And on fourth down, zero for four to shut the Cardinals down. An absolute debacle it was at State Farm last Sunday. Yeah. All right. We're going into a, a new weekend. I know everyone is, is you know, kind of like, okay, that was the first one. Let's see what happens. But I, I, my, this is my personal opinion. I'm, personal opinion. I might get in trouble for it. But I don't think they should have gave him the money. I don't think he deserved – Murray did not deserve the money. Um, or they should have put the clause in there like they should have kept about him studying because obviously he's not doing what he's supposed to do. Am I right or wrong? I would say this. The homework clause, I have no problem. They pulled it. That was an embarrassment on the organization. But to your point, Brad, he signed the contract, right? He's the one that signed the contract. But to that point, Kyler Murray, um, I think they felt they had to get him signed or extended, I should say, for the next uh, several years in order to be on par with some of the other quarterbacks. Yeah. All right. What are we looking for this next game? What do you feel? 
Well, I know you're leading the junket to Las Vegas. I got to imagine Brad Perry's leading that junket. They're going into Las Vegas. Las Vegas lost to the Chargers. They've got to win. Cardinals better get their act together, or the Vegas Raiders are basically going to take uh, take them to task. As Derek Carr et al. will be ready and waiting. They don't want to go 0 and 2. Cardinals got to fix a lot of things if they're going to be Las Vegas up there this weekend against the Raiders. All right, and let's touch a little bit on uh, college football going on. ASU, U of A, what do we think? Well, ASU's got Eastern Michigan coming up. Uh, that should be a, a win at Sun Devil Stadium. U of A, uh, after a victory, tough loss to Mississippi State. Uh, this weekend, it's one of those games where I think you look at something to the effect that they should bounce back. Hopefully, they stay competitive as they head into the weekend and head into the rest of the season. Yeah. All right. There you go. And also, we uh, have our big HBCU here on AZTV7. So, good matchup with that happening on Saturday. So, a lot of football going on around the, the country. Um, and, of course, you guys talk about it right there on 9, 10 a.m. Um, and, and your website, where can they find out more about what you guys are doing? Well, you just go see the great faces for radio. Just go to at Rock and Manuch, R O C and M A N U C H. Tune us in every day from 1 to 4 on Fox Sports 910. Rock and Manuch with Jimmy B. We've added Jimmy B to the fold as well, too. But, Brad, always a pleasure. Great seeing you, man. And I got to tell you what, you look good for an old guy. Th thank you. Good you for an old guy. you look good, you too. You still got the arm. We still, we, let's go out and play some catch. Brother, you better get a doctor's <laughs> release first before we spin the ball now. <laughs> Dan, thank you. There you go. <laughs> Dan is great. All right. We love college football here in Arizona, and each week, AZTV7, as we mentioned, brings you all the action with HBCU Sports. Not only is it exciting football, it's coverage you won't find anywhere else with some of the best halftime performances in the country. This Saturday, Southern University takes on Texas Southern. Coverage starts at 2 right here on AZTV7.